Hi guys, Mr. Off Waffles here. This is a no-nonsense guide for the arcade in Forsaken. In other words, this is how you play Narcaron Totem, in case you've been wondering about that, but we're also going to talk today about which one's the best one to spend your arcade tokens on. First of all, how does the arcade work? There are several machines in the arcade, and each one costs one arcade token to play. These tokens can be acquired from killing zombies, they'll just drop them on the floor, or you can actually pay for them, but they cost 10 grand per arcade token, which is pretty pricey, and granted, some of the rewards rewards could be worth that, but others really won't be. You can also only hold one arcade token at a time, so if you've got one, you should probably use it so you can start working towards getting your next one. So let's try out one of the games. The first one we'll take a look at is Enduro, and this one's going to spawn you in as an ARC XD. You'll see a bunch of ramps around you, lots of moving platforms, stuff like that, and on those platforms are small points canisters, which have 100 points in each of them, and larger bonus points drops, which are worth 500 points each. Total, you're probably looking at about 5,000 points if you get every single thing in the room. But the tricky thing about Enduro is that it's very, very easy to just fall off the platforms. If you're at slightly the wrong angle, or you just have too much speed or not enough speed, your ARC XD will bounce around, you'll fly off the side of a ledge, you'll end up back on the floor, and it's just really aggravating. So honestly, of all of the different challenges, I think that this one has the highest skill ceiling and also sort of the lowest rewards threshold. But that doesn't mean you should never do this. If you just need points, this is a really good one to do. And with a little bit of practice, you can get fairly good at it and get used to kind of timing the jumps and stuff like that. Like it's not going to be that different every single time. So if you're a big zombies grinder, practice will make perfect on this one. And you can get a bunch of points from it if that's what you need specifically in your game. Next up, the Der Eisendracher challenge. This one's going to spawn you in right in front of one of those billable rockets that has a dragon head on it that they introduced in Outbreak. And of course, alongside it, you'll have a ring of fire on the floor, which indicates the zone in which you need to kill zombies. There are four spawn points that will surround you, so you haven't really got that much space to get away from the zombies here. You're just going to need to kill them as they come. And as long as you're killing zombies within the circle, you will be working your way towards filling up the dragon's hungry tummy. Now, it takes about 50, 55 seconds, I'd say, tops, as long as you're actually killing everything as it spawns, of course. And if successful, you'll get a little happy happy face signal on the rocket ship. The dragon will give you a little roar and wiggle his way back inside and underneath the rocket when it blasts off, you will get a golden chest. Once again, just like in Outbreak. The rewards for the chest are also pretty similar to what you'd expect from Outbreak. So things like perks are very likely, legendary weapons, potentially even wonder weapons can all come out of this chest. You also quite often get a bunch of armor, salvage and a field upgrade like refresh so that you can just use your ether shroud or whatever all over again if you used it during the challenge. Next up, the challenge you've probably all been waiting for, the one and only World War Arcade Machine, which leads you straight into Nachtaron Toten. Except, it's not quite the Nacht you'll remember, because while you're in there, you'll be able to look outside the Nacht building and see that this is just like a reconstruction. It's not actually Nacht. And you're also limited to just the spawn room. So you can't go into the help room, you can't go upstairs. There actually isn't even a help room door that's there. Like, they didn't even recreate that part of it, which is quite interesting to think about from like a lore perspective. But anyway, zombies will be rambling towards you here, so keep your wits about you, but you don't need to panic too much because even if you're on a pretty high round, there'll be pretty slow zombies usually. And while your weapons have been replaced, the zombies will still die to one bullet in the head from your M1911, for example. If you kill the zombies quickly enough, you'll get to the end of the wave and a little rewards crate will spawn, which you can get probably like some free salvage from, and then more zombies will start spawning. You're now going to want to just do the same thing all over again. Kill the zombies essentially as quickly as you can, and if you do that wave quick enough, another crate will spawn, and out of this one, you'll get a bunch of salvage, but you'll often get something like maybe a free DMR weapon, something like that for you to pick up, maybe some points as well. And then another final wave will begin, and this obviously is the last one, so it's going to be a little bit more difficult, but you just need to fight your way through the zombies, and if you complete it within the total time limit that you have for this arcade challenge, you'll end up getting a big rewards crate, which will have a whole load of stuff in it. You'll probably get some high-grade salvage, you'll probably get loads of points from it, you'll also most likely get a field up upgrade, refresh, all that sort of stuff. And so, by looking at the rewards here and comparing them to what you get from the other challenges, it should be pretty clear which arcade challenge you want to do in your game at any given time. If you're looking for just points, 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 and nothing else, then Enduro is obviously your best bet, even though it's hard. If you're more interested in salvage, but also wouldn't mind some points here and there if they happen to appear, then Nachtaran Toten is a really good call. However, it's the Der Eisendracher Dragon Challenge that I think is overall the best one, because 
because you're not only going to get potentially a perk from it, but also a very high value legendary weapon or a wonder weapon and a bunch of salvage will come out of that box as well. And just overall, it feels like it checks the most possible boxes from just one crate. So those are my thoughts on the three standard tier arcade machines in the map. Of course, the other arcade machines will be covered in other videos. So stay tuned for those. Subscribe if this has been useful and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.